Here we are, about to go into the writer's room today. Bro, it's what all the cool survivalists are doing these days. Survivalists? What are you talking about? Well, you know, I'm just gonna take a week, go survive in the woods. Ben, you can't just wander into the woods for a week. You have work this week. This is my work. Your work? Ben, this is dangerous. You can't just go wander off. You're gonna get hurt, or worse, abducted by a pack of weeblos or something. I am an expert in the tactics of wilderness survival. You ever read the book Hatchet? That's about me. I'm Hatchet. I was raised by a pack of wolves. Whatever, do whatever you want. I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We're en route to our destination right now. I have no idea where we are. All right, get out. night. So here I am, surrounded by 2,000 acres in the vast wilderness, with just the clothes on my back, sleeping bag, water bottle, fire starter. Try to keep up. Alright, this looks like the spot. Since I don't have a tarp or a tent, I'm going to be making an A-frame lean-to shelter. So I'm going to take a large branch, lean it out as a backbone against the tree, and then lean some smaller sticks around it to make a skeleton. So Q and I were tasked by the group to, to keep an eye on Ben on his little adventure. We just can't have him getting lost or hurt, so we're out here just to make sure he's all right. Yeah, right now it looks like he's pulling a xylophone or something. Oh yeah. Maybe he's just to keep himself entertained. So this doesn't quite provide this protection that we want. So what we're gonna have to do is start filling in some of these gaps with some leaves to protect us from the elements. What you're gonna do is take a nice big handful of leaves and other debris on the ground kind of smush it up so it's a little bit more compact. Just place it right on your shelter. And then once you once you get one on, just keep repeating it until the whole shelter is insulated. Evidently, Ben isn't pleased with his xylophone, so he's trying to hide it. I'm starting to think that's not a xylophone. I think it... Like, I don't know. What else could it be? I don't know. Maybe it's a, a trap? That's a pretty big trap. What, what would he catch with a trap that huge? Either a really small deer, or a lot of squirrels. Smart thinking, Ben. We're trying to keep the shelter as small as possible, so it takes less time and energy to build as well as conserves heat when you're in it. Having unnatural colors is also helpful for rescuers to find you. All right, now Ben is blatantly making his trap more noticeable, which doesn't make any sense. Animals avoid bright colors. Why would you want to put that in a trap? It's like how they avoid roads and the gap. I don't know what he's doing. No idea what he's doing. Notice I left the leaves on the ground where I'll be sleeping. That's because having an extra layer between you and the ground helps yourself not lose heat to it. What? What is he? What is he doing? He's getting himself trapped in his own trap. We, we have to do something. No, 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 no. He, he's probably just. He's prop. I know it's scary, but he's probably just testing out the sturdiness of his trap, um, to to make sure that nothing can escape. If nothing can escape, how is he gonna get out? The wild animals could get in there and get trapped in there with him. I don't know what he's thinking, but... Oh 
Oh my god, hang in there, buddy. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, did he did it! it. Yes! Oh. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, what is it? What's he doing now? What's he doing now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ben? Alright. Ben, Ben has officially lost his mind. Ben is pouring his only drinkable water onto the trap. I, I don't... What, what do you think oh, he's trying to do? You know what he's doing? He's using his only drinking water to lure in the reclusive water buffalo. Oh, yeah! Because we both know that water buffaloes cannot resist the smell of water. And if he traps a water buffalo in his, in his trap, then he'll have a surplus of both water and buffalo. Yeah! Good thinking, Ben. Oh my god, Ben. Notice the layer of leaves on the shelter is very thick. That helps keep the elements out and the heat in. For example, getting rid of rain. As you can see, it just drips right off. It's been hours since Ben put water on the trap. What is he doing? Um, no water buffalo yet, but it looks like Ben's building a fire. So, I mean, I guess if in the middle of the night a buffalo does wander in there, we'll at least be able to see it. Oh, and then if the buffalo's in there, he can ignite the trap and cook it. Oh, that makes so much sense. Wow, Ben. Ben's really smart. All right, so here I am, middle of the night, getting uh, about time to go to bed. All right, so I just woke up here. Um, our last step is to take apart our shelter, make it look like no one was ever here to abide by the leave no trace principles. Let's get to it. <laughs> Oh, hey guys. Oh, Ben, how'd you know we were here? I could hear you all night. You're like 10 feet away. Oh, oh we were just here to make sure that you survived okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, good, good job surviving the elements. Not that it's that hard or anything. Thanks, I was warm and cozy all night. How'd you guys do? Oh, we got cold and wet. Oh, and very hungry, but that's how you're supposed to survive, am I right? Well, he could have just... Hey, hey, do you have any buffalo left over? What? The buffalo that you caught in your trap? Yeah, I'm starving. Uh, just forget it. You guys can check out my video later.